get a look at the camshaft now. Uh, you know, just give it a good look over. Bearing surfaces look good. I didn't really see a spec in the manual for those. I'll check again, but I didn't see anything. Um, you know, no odd wear. The lobes all look good. No big scratches, scars, anything like that. This lobe is for the points, and it's, it's going to show somewhere. It's really uh, fine. doesn't matter. Uh, the one spec I did find was for lift. Now, in theory, the you know this part of the lobe is what opens up your valve. So, in theory, it should wear the same all the way around, and then that, that lobe is... You know, the, the, the lift should stay the same because it's going to wear on the back as much as the front, I think. But, I like to take my caliper, measure across the side of the lobe. Get that about. And then hit the uh, absolute button, which will zero it to there. And then you can measure the lobe fairly accurately. Now it should be 0.28, and we're yeah, 2.7, so it's within a thousandth, which is pretty good. And and you'd want to measure, you know, I measured that lobe. You'd want to measure all your lobes just to make sure you don't have a flat one. Uh, you know, you never know. Be a good idea. Uh, actually. This is the fuel pump. This one is for the points, and it just has a small lobe on it. So that's about it for the camshaft. Now the heads. You know, you clean the fins out, whatever's in there. Uh, you know, a brush, blow it off with air whatever you got old mouse nests and bug nests and things like that and then this side let's get the gasket off of it gently again this is aluminum it shouldn't take uh... well, this one's going to be a little tough let's go at it from the other side and just carefully take the gasket off you don't want to mess up that gasket surface is all. Now, the carbon. I like to get a little WD-40. Now, on the piston, I, I don't, you know, I didn't recommend scraping at all. Uh, this is not so critical. It's, you know, it's, it's not a, a machine surface against another machine surface. So, here I'm not too scared to just gently scrape away carbon. It's important, at least right here, to really get all of the carbon off. And I'll show you why that is in a second. So, you know, a nice soft stainless brush. That'll take some carbon off. I like to really get as much as I can off of it. And then uh, I'll use Scotch-Brite for sure on the gasket surface just to make sure that's all cleaned up. And then I've got this one. Oops, that wasn't the head, that was a piece of wood. I've got this one that I've cleaned up. Now we want to see how flat it is. Ruler is a nice straight edge, and you can hold this up to the light, and you can really see through the light. Um, I can't show you on the camera, but you can really see, you know, if there's a, a gap in there. Uh, I think five thousandths is the spec. If it's over five thousandths, it's junk. You could probably uh, get it ground. Here's a, a four thousandths, anyways. So you can, uh, you know, get your straight edge on there and just try to get a feeler gauge under it. And, uh, this thing, I've already checked it all over. It's really nice and flat. But just check it all over the place. It's good to go. 
And then uh, that's really it for camshaft. That's it for the heads. Now let's take a look at some valves. Now I took these to the wire wheel on my grinder and I just cleaned them up. They were covered in carbon so I just got it all off of there. Looks nice. A uh, couple things to check. One is this shaft. Uh, I don't know how well you can see but right there there is a small step in the shaft and the shaft measures 0 .3100. Oops, I've got a clear that out. So 0 .31 and then uh, you know here where I know there's where I'm gonna measure it and uh, you know I get maybe a thousand. So we already checked the valve guides they're probably at 0 .313 uh, this intake valve at least is probably at uh, point 309 or so and uh, just doing some math well, that's a uh, you know you're gonna have about a four thousandths clearance in there so valve intake valve stem to guide max is four and a half thousand so uh, exhaust is six and a half thousand so we should be pretty good there uh, I don't see any need to replace those at all by the way the intake stamped in there let's well, cast in and exhaust there so the other thing is this face I don't know how well you can see the face but this one's exhaust and it's fairly well pitted and you should be able to see a line even on the camera where it's uh, worn into the face this face doesn't look much better if you look at it from here it's kinda scooped out like that so these both need to be ground flat again and I'll probably make another video I just did the other cylinder just so I'd have an example to show you uh, I just ground them myself so now they're nice and flat they're right at a 45 degree angle and uh, you know we already looked at the valve seats and they look great so uh, I'll have to make another video uh, I'll show you how I ground those and then uh, once I get the seals we'll lap them and uh, put them back put the cylinders back together will be another video so I guess that's it for this one well we'll see you on the next video